parents and teachers, do you actually realize how fast your children or students grow? At one point, they were little children, innocent, bright, and cheerful. But all of a sudden, BAM! They're now suddenly somewhat mature, somewhat grown up, wannabe adults, one step away from delving into the outside world. At this stage, you may be thinking whether it's the right time or not to expose them to more new stuff, like sex education, for example. Well, I, Zach, in my speech today, will be answering this question for you. My speech will be divided into the what, the why, and who. Let's start with the what. According to A. Nasir Owan, as cited in Suraji 2008, sex education is the effort of teaching information and awareness so that it provides to children so that he or she understands the issues about sex, instinct, and marriage. So you may be thinking, whoa, that seems a bit deep for individuals who've just encountered puberty for the first time. Is this even necessary? Well, I hate to break it to you, parents and teachers, but it's a big, fat yes. Everyone goes through a drastic change during their teenage years, and most of the time, it's the physical changes that teenagers often struggle to adapt with. And without adequate openness between children or students with their parents and teachers, this could also lead them to the wrong path. While it may seem awfully disturbing, the ugly truth in which teenagers secretly turn to pornography and sexual activities is more often than not the product of a lack of constraint and guidance from their authorities. While it's not exclusively the lack of sexual education that causes this, it's fair to say that teenagers just are lost or they just don't know what's right and what's wrong. My point is, it's not the exposure to the truth that leads them astray, more so the opposite. And this proves to you why teenagers need sex education. Take my own experience as an example. I am 16 and to this very day, I am still undergoing the aforementioned changes that a teenager faces. Aside from the physical changes, I also start to feel a bit more curious about the more mature stuff. Fortunately for me, I have a very open relationship with my parents, and they were equally aware about the changes that I was going through. Both of them, my dad in particular as a fellow male, shed light on various truths I would not have known on my own. We always had honest conversations and they always brought upon me a sense of fulfillment. I am also eternally grateful to my school and my teachers because they integrated sex education with fundamental morals and values in annual educational seminars. They really opened my eyes to the correct perspective regarding sex, my body, and how to maintain it. I cannot emphasize enough of how important important sex education is for teenagers because if a teenager does not get enough guidance on how to uh, handle his or her curiosity it could be absolutely detrimental to not only the teenager involved but also to his or her environment why because this could lead them to sexual crime either as a victim or as an offender this instance is so damaging because it can involve so many people. Barely do we realize how lethal sexual crimes and offenses have been over the past few years. Reliable sources state that in Indonesia for the past five years, there has been a rise of up to 31% in sexual crimes and offenses. That is equivalent to a whopping 1,000 cases. And teachers, you're, you're wrong if you think your students are completely safe at school because in 2019, schools in Indonesia reported about approximately up to 100 cases of sexual abuse to students. These are unwantedly high numbers and these are what leads them to terrible outcomes. Some of these terrible outcomes include, but are not limited to, the increase of drug use to up to 10%, a severe damage in the relationship of the victims with the families, friends, and close ones, and also a rise in pregnancy and sexually transmitted infections. Parents, teachers, do you really want to see your teenagers suffer this? Do you really want to see them go through such an unimaginable period of their lives of trauma and despair?
if it's a no, then the question now really is, who should act now? The answer is all of us, teenagers, parents, teachers, and schools alike, all need to act immediately. It is very important for teenagers to have an open relationship with their authorities about whatever is bothering them or whatever is harvesting their curiosity. This openness allows them to create an honest and positive relationship with their authorities. As for parents, they play a very crucial role as well. Naturally, children tend to trust whatever their parents say, and it can be reflected through their worldview and their life values. So use this opportunity to your advantage. Make sure you have a positive and honest relationship with your children and use your life experience to install the truths of sex education in their minds. Teachers and schools, you also play a big role. The students that you educate every day are a sign that their parents trust you to use your knowledge and experience to educate and teach them in whatever way possible. Out of the many things that teachers can educate students with, sex education is certainly one of them. Teachers can do this through private talks with certain students, for example, or schools can also choose to apply annual educational seminars about sex education, for example. Whichever method it is, just keep in mind that you are helping your students stay on the right track and protect themselves from the dangerous outside world. So parents, teachers, and schools, in an ideal world, you definitely would want to see your teenagers grow and flourish in a safer and more peaceful world. How do you do that? To do that, you don't need to look too far. Start with the basics. Don't be afraid to expose them to the truth because the truth is not what leads them to despair and crime, but the truth is what leads them to that ideal world.